Vehicle crash. You good? Yeah, OBS is quality software. OBS is real quality software that has no issues whatsoever. It's a great piece of software that I would recommend to literally anybody. It could be worse. It could be XSplit. It could be XSplit, which is like OBS, but you pay for it. So, yeah. Yeah, no. Well, Larkin critically crashed OBS. Well, but, uh, we're good. Whoops. We're back. We're back. <clears throat> so, as you guys head out of these little sandbars, there is a bit of open water before you hit the Raker Shoals, which are charted and are something that you are planning and aware that you're going to have to deal with and still within the realm of the Chart of the Fair Winds. Uh -huh. However, as you start to approach the Eye of Abendego, the storm starts to pick up and it starts to actually become a little bit of a hazard. As the rains start to hit and the waves start to pick up, a big wave washes across the deck. It's not big enough to knock anybody over, but it's big enough to leave a big spread of foaming water across the deck pretty much constantly as the spray and the waves hit you. So, before you guys are able to move around the ship, if you want to try to do different sorts of checks or help anybody out, you're going to make acrobatics checks to avoid slipping and falling in the water. So... You guys approach the shoals. Were you wanting to go through or around this? Ryan says we can go through if we if we slow to maintain a speed of thirty. Well, with if Larkin's going to keep assisting, you're going to have a plus twenty five. Okay. Which you could go sixty and never fail a turn. Well, it's assuming I can. Is he spotting shoals though, or is he spotting reefs while I do this? Is it the same as the sandbar squid? Um, well, the Raker Shoals are charted, but the thing is people don't come out here terribly often. It's not super well charted, so it would not be a bad idea to keep somebody up at the front to... But this wouldn't be survival. This would be literally looking for reefs. This would be straight perception checks. Let me do it. Yeah. Most then of these are like Larkin. two and three part skill checks. So this would be Larkin doing Dude. his job, being in the crow nest, looking for fucking reefs. Do I get a bonus to profession sailor for my knowledges? On this one? I'm actually going to need you to chart a course on the fly here. Because since you are stuck in the middle of this race, and this storm is hitting you a little harder than you expected, you can't stay exactly on course, and you aren't going to be entering the shoals exactly how you planned. So I'm going to need you to just straight up make me a knowledge geography roll to chart an impromptu course for where you're entering the Raker Shoals. Damn. Oh my god! Well, you're a fucking geography wizard. So I thought I was like, no problem, do it this way. Thank you, headband. <laughs> that runs you Jesus. exactly through. And alright, so how many... And you get a plus two from the chart of the fair winds for that because you're still on the chart, so that's even a 33. And a plus two for all the pluses to the roll. Oh, yeah. I so forgot I'm, about so that. I'm literally going to fucking nerf this. All right, so. All right, neat. So you're able to chart yourself a pretty fucking solid course that should avoid the vast majority of the reefs and uh, hopefully allow you to go at a bit of a higher speed. So, well, what we've been talking about, how fast are you guys going through F? How guys fast do you guys want to tear it through the rake of shoals? You're standing if, at 30, and you're going 60, you got a full board and go 90, fuck everything. I don't want to get full board and go I 90. Think we're fine at 60. 60. Okay. Alright. So you All guys right. are going 60. So as you uh carve through Octar's newly charted route here, monkey perception check. Do I get any bonuses, like, the same way I got bonuses to survival because I had local? Uh, there's no bonuses for any skills. You just get the plus two from Lock the Plank. Okay. This has a 26. So, Asher spots a reef that isn't on the chart from 210 feet away, which is a pretty fucking good distance. 
That gives you a decent amount of time for you to make a hard to porter, hard to starboard action Woo! to get out of the way. So, what's that? All right. Getting bits and pieces of what you say. Yeah, me too. So I need you to uh, to make your professional sailor check for the oh hard for the turn. Starboard. Yep, do your turn. Oh, okay. So it's a hard turn. I finally get to use a steering wheel for what it was meant for. Cool. So that's a plus five. Yes. Yay. Please, God, please. Don't fuck this up. Ooh. Well, it's a good thing you saw that reef from so goddamn far away. Yeah. Because okay, you have right. so much time to react to this that you're able to very easily weave around it. Larkin, perception. This time, Larkin's able to spot the reef from over 300 feet away, and it's so far out of the distance that you don't even need to make a professional sailor check to avoid it. Um, you're able to just slightly adjust Octar's course, which with his massive fucking geography roll, he can do easily, and sail around it with no trouble. So, Wait. as you guys sail through these reefs, you, would, you obviously aren't hitting anything, but you're up in the front of the pack. You're not in the part of the pack that has the shitters and the people running into stuff. You're with the other very experienced free captains who are able to speed through at a similar speed without any issues as well. So even though you kept going almost at your full speed and then hit a single reef, as you weave through F, you weren't able to pick up any, any, uh, any distance. You weren't able to game on any of the ships that are ahead of you. So you're still sitting on like the upper third of the pack is about where you're at. <laughs> Almost immediately as you come out of these reefs though, you start to feel the currents on the edge of the Eye of Eb and Dago. These currents are crazy strong and are one of the main reasons that sailors avoid coming anywhere near the hurricane. It's pretty hard to keep yourself on the keep us not only on the course that you had charted, but to literally stop from being dragged backwards by a combination of the winds of the eye and the currents right outside it. In order to deal with this, you're going to need to try to read these crazy currents, and that's going to take either knowledge, nature, or survival. Well, Octar has knowledge, nature, so there you go. In addition... You're getting a little closer to the storm. Oh, getting a little closer to the storm here. It's raging pretty hard, and a slippery deck is going to be the least of your concerns. As a saltwater leak springs in the hold of your ship, ruining half of the plunder still aboard. Um, and you sold one more, so you're down to five, right? Yes. And that brings you down to two. Three points of plunder destroyed by this leak before your crew is able to get it under control and stop the salt water from flooding out your hold. So while they deal with bailing out the bottom of your ship, you guys get to deal with these currents. You guys make it a survival or a nature? You get one roll and one assist. I'm going nature. All right. All right, so a 25 knowledge nature is enough for you to... Uh, be able to tell where the edges of these currents are and stop yourself from losing any ground as you tack into them. So, Cha, professional sailor, full ahead. Since, as, uh, can Larkin assist me with this one? He sure can. Do I need to make yeah. an acrobatics check first? Uh, yeah, can you fail a DC 10? No. I didn't think so. Don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> and so I'm back to. Well, you assisted. <laughs> It's not a one. It's got to not be a one. It's got to not be a one. All right. Fucking. Oh, man. Oh, man. Mickey going. Let's see. One, two. Three. Fucking hell. That's a plus four. So, with the assistance of the monkey, and I mean, really, like, the best possible set of skills available to fucking weave through this shit, this is the part where you're really able to push ahead here and get a big lead on the rest of the competitors. Because not only are you very skilled at piloting a ship, you have this actual waterbender who is pretty in tune with nature, not only avoiding the currents, but using them to help push you ahead. And you are able to surge 
almost to the front. You are able to pull yourselves all the way up into second place here as you move into the eye with only one ship left ahead of you. Guess who? It's the worm. Fuck you, Harrigan! I hate this goddamn boat! Not quite able to catch up to the Wormwood and Harrigan's expertise of piloting a ship, but... Fuck that boat! Octar, nature, go. Fucking solid. Cha, pilot it. It goes to one, dude. It's time. Nope. Oh, that's a oh. fucking 42. Oh man, ass is being hauled right now. So up you fucking go. And that is actually going to bring you up. That's it. We're tied on the score here. So that's going to bring you up literally neck and neck with the wormwood. So <laughs> you are oh. actually even with Harrigan. This is like... The biggest fuck you that you could ever possibly With give his Harrigan. fucking stolen I boat. don't think this is written that you're supposed to be good enough to actually fucking catch Harrigan. Because reading through this, his score is obscene. But if you keep rolling motherfucking 40 plus profession sailing checks, you might actually win what I'm pretty sure is supposed to be an unwinnable race. <laughs> Octar, nature, one more time. But we can't fire on him. I wish we could. He didn't fail a single one of those. What a champion. All right, Cha. <laughs> Failure. I'm getting so nervous. So you've got, you know the Luigi death stare? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Fuck, oh, no. there it is. That's fine, because that's, that's not a detriment. That doesn't send you back. But well, that doesn't give you any points either, so. As oh, you, uh, uh, can you, you assist, it, so. Larkin? Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, your assistance. No, that's no, wait. Twenty-five. Did you have assistance. Oh, he did. Oh, so wow. it's actually a twenty-six. So it's actually a twenty-six, even not a twenty-eight. So yep. as you get through here, regardless of how well you're doing and you're still navigating the currents, I mean, Harrigan is just ridiculously good, and the Wormwood is honestly as shitty as it seemed while you were on it. A it's very, a better ship. Very good ship, and he pulls a little bit ahead of you as you head into Iris at Splinters here. Now, he gets a decent lead here as he lines up to weave through these two pillars. But as you enter the storm, it's almost interesting how the visibility works. You can see the pillars at a distance, but as you actually push into the hurricane, you start to lose sight of not only them, but the wormwood, as the visibility comes down to almost nothing around you. And the storm rages on 49. Everybody make a reflex save. Is it wind-based? No, it's a wave. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> Can... Oh, then. I'm about to get smacked. Give me a 20. Oh. That wasn't... A... Oh, well. That was a 20. It was modified. Like, Octar yeah, I and Anzu. I guess we're not really using Anzu, so just Octar. Hurricane, literally sailing into a hurricane. Oh, you guys are champs! A huge wave <clears throat> hits your ship and rocks it, knocking over a couple of your crew members. But the party, not being bitches, is able to keep <laughs> their footing and stay up as you guys head into Iris's splinters. So, literally have an ability called Water Dancer now. I'm not gonna get knocked over by a wave. <laughs> what does that? What does it do? What does it do? It's what my... I have a swim speed now. <laughs> oh, nice. That's pretty fucking solid. It's... It's a slipstream, but only on me. So, as you guys start to approach, and you can barely start to make out the splinters again in the distance through this, uh, this heavy storm, you see another ship come up... Uh, you see another ship come up out of the fog behind you guys. At a distance. This is. Oh, I think I'll be a scratch again. Yeah, I'll be a. I'm sure I'll be a. Yay!